What up dogs, TV here and to the face to the face, so welcome to a little video that I call how to do something in a game that I have some good knowledge of. So I'm going to start off with some Battlefield 3, how to snipe, we're going to cover sensitivity, twitch, rifle and scope and how to play smart. I know that last one is kind of fuzzy and it kind of goes out for all games but when you're sniping in, in Battlefield 3 you kind of have to play in a certain way but let's get going with the first one which is sensitivity and I have some gameplay clips for to show you guys while we are talking about this. So to start us off we have sensitivity and when you're playing Battlefield 3 and sniping you wanna, if you're playing on PC, this is gonna be mostly PC tips uh, in the beginning here since I play Battlefield 3 on PC I, I tend not to uh, have such a high sensitivity but I don't want it to be too low so I have to lift off my my hand when I'm actually scoped in so I don't want to lift off my mouse holding hand and that is probably the most important thing that I know and you also want to make sure that you are that it's low enough so you are able to be accurate when you actually see like a head in your uh, in your crosshair uh, other than that I think you know maybe like a mouse that is suitable for your hand is perfect I'm using a racer mouse which hey, I've been using for maybe six teammates. months or something like that, which I uh, I recommend using one that you're comfortable with. Now let's get over to Twitch, which is not the streaming service. It's uh, when and how fast you can actually move your mice, mouse uh, towards the target that you're actually aiming towards. Uh, you gotta be able to... That this basically just takes practice. You want to be able to see an enemy and as fast as possible get your uh, the center of your screen towards the enemy. And um, all I can say is that it helps to play a lot of games, preferably uh, games that you're hip firing a lot with or using guns that you can hip fire a lot with because then you will be better when you're actually trying to put enemies in the middle of your screen, in the middle of your non-scoped in hip fire crosshair. Alright, so you're using a rifle and scope in Battlefield 3, there's a bunch of different scopes. Uh, and what you gotta do is just first pick out one of the snipers that you either think looks coolest or the one that you know you feel most comfortable with then play a shit ton with it so you know how the bullet drops you kinda you kinda can't teach that out you gotta learn and play a lot to get used to how fast the bullet will die from your gun uh, me personally I like the M50 A3 or A4 let me see here what it's called it's the aim A5 M40 A5 I mix all the numbers together with the 7 X scope uh, it's actually excellent for quick scoping and being around the enemies um, and I've, since I've played a lot with the M40 A5 with uh, red dot sight you also you kind of learn very fast how far up you know over a person's head that you kind of have to have your scope and for bolt the time, you know, when you're actually bolting back and getting another bullet in your chamber, it also takes a while to know how. When you shot one shot and when you're uh, not aiming down the sight anymore and it's gonna bolt again, uh, even though you're using, you know, like a straight bolt uh, pull, uh, it still takes a lot of getting used to on knowing how uh, long it's going to be until the next shot comes out so you don't sit and click and spam the firing button uh, over and over again. And especially in Battlefield 3, it's important to play smart since there are a lot of covers and if you get suppressed in this game, your bullets will not hit the target you're actually aiming towards. Um, so when you are facing off a 1v1 situation with another guy, you gotta make sure that you have somewhere to peek your head back in when you're actually getting shot at. I think this is... Uh, it kind of comes natural when uh, when you kind of get it in but I would say start off by just playing uh, a lot of team deathmatch games if you're sniping and using maybe the no shark canals containers as uh, cover for when you're actually playing and as you can see I'm playing conquest or capture the flag here and even though I mm, I haven't played been playing it for a while when I get back and playing uh, a different game from that is not team that match my skills that I have practiced over and over while playing team that match easily transists into this um, all you have to do is kind of notice that all right I will not spawn back so I should probably play it a little bit more careful 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 <laughs> 
Now these are my quick tips for getting good with a sniper in Battlefield 3. Uh, go out and play and kick ass. Hope you learned some of them. Leave a comment if you want to see some Call of Duty tips or maybe some. I have a, I have a, actually a couple of videos prepared which I wanted to do. Uh, I'm also making a Battlefield 3 sniper montage as you can see from the gameplay. I uh, I've added out. This is definitely just some of my clips. So get excited for that and go play a shit ton and leave a comment if there was something I missed out. If if I should make like a follow-up video to this or if you have feedback. Thanks for watching dudes and I'll see you soon. Bye.